my friends, we're going to integrate this. This is a Gaussian distribution, and I have many, many, many videos on various variations of integrating this function as well. So we're going to start off. This is what we want to integrate. Now this we can set to a number. We sometimes call this the gamma function, but this integral is a number, really. Now we can do the same thing. The same number is equal to the same integral. There's no difference here except for the variables now change to y, uh, but they should be the same. Uh, so if we square these functions, g squared, it's the same as multiplying each of these integrals together, which is what we did right here. And now we can tidy this up a little bit by merging it into one exponent. Now, in terms of x and y, if we look at the xy Cartesian coordinates, we're going to convert this to polar coordinates, where we go from r goes from 0 to infinity, and then theta can go all the way around. So in polar coordinates, r squared is x squared plus y squared, and dx dy equals r dr d theta. Let me know if you want me to ex explain this, how I got this part in the comments. Uh, so r goes from 0 to infinity, and theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. And if that happens, then we've covered the range of negative infinity to infinity of x and y on this. Okay, so we're going to substitute this in to this equation right here, and we now have d theta. Uh, theta going from 0 to 2 pi, and instead of x's and y's, we now have r's. And from here, to integrate this, we're going to do a u substitution. So we'll set u equal to r squared, so du e over dr equals 2r. And if we substitute this into here, what we get is, so theta doesn't change, but now we have u's instead of r squares. So we substitute this, and at this point, we can evaluate the integral. So the integral of d theta is just theta. theta. And then we're going from 2 pi to 0, so 2 pi minus 0. And now here we'll pull out the 1 half, and the integral of this is itself, right? This is our friend, except there's a negative sign in front, because when we take the derivative, then we got this negative to come out. Uh, and then we'll evaluate that from infinity to 0. Now this one here, this is like the limit as a goes to infinity of, of a, and at this point, this becomes 0. And any number to the power of zero is just one. So we can plug that in and we get g squared equals pi. Now g squared is the square of our integral that we want. So g is equal to the square root of pi. And that's our integral right there. So the integral of e to the negative x squared dx from negative infinity to infinity is root pi. Cool beans. Uh, check out my other videos on the Gaussian distribution, many other videos on integrating and whatnot, and also in other aspects of math, chemistry, physics. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers.